it is Sarah Burgett. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. Before I start this video, I want to apologize for the audio. My microphone actually broke, so it will be a week or so before my new microphone comes in. Just throwing that out there. But recently, I have found or refound my love for doing makeup. It has just been very therapeutic for me, and especially just trying out new eyeshadow shades. Like for a while, I was just doing the same thing over and over and over again, and now that I have a lot of time on my hands, I'm like it's my favorite thing to like try out a new makeup look so today I'm going to show you my recent go-to fall glam I am really excited to show you guys this I actually recently picked up some new products too that I will be incorporating in this video so I will give you some of my opinions here and there on those products as well I hope you guys enjoy a little throwback to my makeup videos and if you're not subscribed already please be sure to hit that subscribe button down below and give this video a like and let me know in the comments if you want to see me do more makeup videos videos and stuff like that so let's just get on to the video also okay before I get on to the video I am not naked I'm wearing a tube top it says go away yeah I just wanted to throw that out there I'm gonna start out with this sample I got it's from milk makeup it's grip primer and it's really tacky primer which I didn't think I would like at first but wow it holds my foundation in one place so much like it's insane I have been swearing by the Fenty Beauty foundation for a really long time but I don't know what it is but my skin like almost became like prone to it because it just started like randomly coming off my face it was the weirdest thing ever I would like kiss my boyfriend and it would be on his shirt I, I don't know how it happened and like there would be no makeup on my nose I didn't know what it was I didn't know if my skin was just like rejecting all face makeup so instead of going and buying a new expensive foundation, I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna go to the drugstore and pick one up and see if it's my skin or the foundation. And I actually really, really liked this one that I picked up. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Concealer. Uh, concealer. <laughs> foundation. This is in the shade 220 Natural Beige. It's amazing. I've never thought I'd say that about a drugstore product, and not that I am anti-drugstore but especially for face makeup I really tend to go more towards high-end products and I just put way too much oh my god there's an actual pile I'm gonna see if I can like scoop it back in here there we go just go ahead and apply that to my face with my finger so when I got the foundation I was like you know what I might as well go and get the full set because I was running out of concealer you know I didn't want to drop a bunch of money and I was running out of powder and you know for me, I think any powder honestly works. I don't know. Um, so I got the Maybelline Fit Me powder and concealer as well, and wow, it hits you guys. It's different. So I'm just taking my Beauty Blender. This is a new one. It's actually black, which I really like the black one because you can actually see what like leftover product is on it. And I'm just tapping that, blending that all out. Voila. I swear foundation always looks like different on camera than it does in person. Like I swear this matches my skin. So like I said, I picked up some of this Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I actually got the lightest one. It's shade 5 Ivory because, well, I wanted it to brighten up my face, but then I realized it was too light. So on top of that, I'm just going to add a little bit of e.l.f. HD Lifting Concealer. Throwback. Oh my god, you're an OG subscriber if you remember all my e.l.f. videos. I used to be so obsessed because it was so cheap and good. If you guys want me to do an elf haul again, I honestly am thinking of doing that. Oh my, see, look at how light this is. Like, I didn't even put that much on you guys. Like, that's insane. Like, that should not be allowed. But if you guys want me to do an elf haul again, kind of in the mood to just, like, go ham because why not? And it's so cheap and it's a good throwback, you know? So, hi, it's my pumpkin makeup tutorial. No, but I'm just, like, brightening up, like, some, you know, main parts of my face. Blah, blah. I don't know what blah means, but I'm also just going a little bit over that with this. So this isn't opaque enough to use as a concealer on its own, in my opinion. It's also not light enough, in my opinion. But mixing these two together gives me the perfect, like, highlight shade, you know? Going in again with my Beauty Blender and just patting that all up. Thank you guys so much for the amazing feedback on my last video. I literally could tear up. I was just kind of going through it one day and I decided to film it and whenever that happens I'm always like really nervous about uploading it to YouTube but the amount of 
DMs I get and the amount of people I've been talking to on Instagram that that video has helped because they are so they can relate so much is incredible. If you DM me and I didn't get back to you, I'm so sorry. I've been trying to get back to everyone, but it's been hard. I've had a, a busy couple of weeks. It's just been a little stressful, but I hope you guys know I appreciate you guys so much, especially for reaching out and giving me such good feedback on that video. I really don't deserve you guys. Like, Oh my god. Ooh, I just feel like that made such a difference to my skin, you know what I mean? So next I'm taking Maybelline Fit Me Powder in Fair Light. Because I do like my powder a little bit lighter too because when I bake my face or translucent, but they didn't have translucent in stock. So I'm going to take some of that and go ahead and bake my face. So while I look like a clown, oh my god, did you guys see the Joker? Because I saw it and it was insane. It was insane. Tell me what you thought about it below. Anyways, while I look like a clown, I will be doing my eyebrows. And I'm just using the Anastasia Brow Powder Duo. It just depends which one I use. Oh my god, I can't take myself seriously. It depends what mood I'm in to see like which side I'm going to use. Also, if I do a really natural makeup look, I'll use this side, the lighter side. But if I'm trying to like be dramatic, I'll use the darker side. And today, I'm trying to be a little dramatic. So we use in the darker side you know what I mean I hate when your nose is runny while you're doing your makeup you know like can't you just wait a little bit I've tried to use eyebrow pencils and for some reason I don't know if you blondes can relate but my hair is so fine and soft that like pencils just don't work even gels like I have to use powder and then I'll just use a clear gel on top and I've been getting a bunch of like snapchat memories and I don't understand like how I used to do my eyebrows the way I did I really don't like I know you guys always would hate on me for it but at this point, I like try to do that sometimes and it just doesn't work out. I don't know how it happened. So the other side of this, oh, it, I did do it kind of dark today. The other side of this is just a brow pencil and I'm just gonna hoo hoo hoo. Then I'm going in with my European Wax Center Ready Set Brow. Set that off. Now to stop looking like a clown. After this, I decided I'm gonna wash my makeup brushes, which I haven't done in a hot second. And I'm really excited about it. If you guys wanna see a video on how I wash my makeup brushes, let me know. I'd love to do that. Wow, I feel like my skin hasn't looked this bomb in a second. All right, now before I finish my face, I'm gonna move on to the eyes. Also, because my camera's gonna die soon, love that. Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. I've tried to go against my ways of this primer potion and nothing hits the same. So the palette I've been, I've been using the most this fall is my Urban Decay Naked Petite Heat palette and it's this one right here. Some gorgeous fall colors. I'm kind of doing an ombre all over my lid before I go into my crease. I kind of make it dramatic and then I put something in the middle. So I'm gonna do the very lightest on the first like half of my eyelid and then I'm gonna do wild things on the second half of my eyelid and then I'm going to put heist in the crease I kind of mix heist and strike together for the crease and then I go in with vibrate in the middle to like blend it all together and kind of give it that cut crease style you know what I mean so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that like I said I'm using the shade inhale for the inner ish corner in first half while I'm at it, I'm just, I'm probably gonna do some more on my under eye and like inner circle later too, but I'm just gonna throw it on there. Now going in with Wild Things, oh my god, this orange is absolutely insane. I'm obsessed with it. I'm gonna make it so dramatic at first. Whoa, look at all that powder. Oh my god, can you see that? I look crazy. Okay. Now, like I said, I'm going to go in with Heist. Two darker colors kind of mixed together and then do the crease. This is going great because my camera is in that phase where like it dies and then I charge it for a couple minutes and I get impatient and I try to film again and it's going to die again. But let's just try to move on. There it is. Now I'll be going on with the mid color vibrate in the middle of the eye. Just kind of blend that all together. Voila. I know it's still like dramatic and not blended and I'll blend it again later. But you know, 
Fall's the time to be dramatic. Now we're gonna do my infamous eyeliner because what's a dramatic eye look without eyeliner? Sometimes I've been like skipping the eyeliner actually recently, but today is not one of those days. Nope, too much, too much. You know, getting your liquid eyeliner messed up is the absolute worst because it messes up everything underneath it, like so. But you know, we're just gonna work with it. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And I don't think we did too much damage there. Voila, I always get it perfect and then I mess with it too much, so we're just gonna leave that how it is. As I mess with it, okay. <laughs> to be a little more aggressive too, we're gonna add some of this orange on the bottom lash line. Camera died again, so I'm gonna try to finish this, but I just put on mascara off camera because no one wants to see my weird mascara face. And now I'm going to do some face makeup. So I'm gonna do my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer, and I'm just going to go ahead and contour my face with that. Just always doing it really dramatic at first, and then blending out later. I always like contour a lot underneath my jawline because I feel like it makes the biggest difference. And then a little bit on my temples, but not too much. Oh. Next, I'm taking my Ciate, Ciate London Blush and Baby Doll. I've been using this for so long. I love it so much. I'm gonna blush it up. And then last but not least for the face, I'm using my Becca Highlighter and Champagne Pop. This is the mini one because I had the big one and it broke. And I just think the mini one is just really perfect and easy and cheaper we love cheaper so that's my face last but not least my lips i've been loving doing my lips recently so i'm going to use the ciate london stay all day lip liner i use that kind of all over and that's because i just lost my lipstick that goes with it that i was obsessed with so that's really good so next i'm just going to take one of these cotton pads and then tap any excess and then my favorite last step, this is my Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme Lip Gloss that I just got, or just repurchased, I should say. This step is amazing, and put that on on top. Oh my gosh, I'm freaking obsessed. This is the final makeup look. Oh, I guess I should blend it out like I said I would. Just look clean. I forgot the ultimate last step, my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. I swear by this thing. Voila. This is the finished makeup look. I really hope you guys like it and I hope this helped you with some inspiration for your fall makeup looks. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and comment down below and subscribe if you're not subscribed already. I'm really happy you're here. If you'd like to see more makeup looks, I've also been doing like a purple makeup look I've been really into. So if you want to see that, just comment down below and let me know. I love you guys with my whole entire heart and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Peace. I've got the time.